Abraham Lincoln signed the land-grant legislation in the middle of the Civil War uh, in a week uh, with three of the most uh, uh, bloody uh, battles uh, in the Civil War. But still, uh, our government had the foresight to create uh, this great uh, opportunity uh, for future generations, and we are still reaping uh, the benefits of that today. It did several things, uh, but perhaps the most important was to uh, t make a statement that higher education is important for a much broader group of people than historically had been the case. Uh, higher education had been uh, a privilege. It had been for the wealthy uh, to train uh, clerics, um, but it hadn't been available uh, for the public at large. And so the Land Grant Act really uh, said, we're going to create a system, a public system of higher education in this country for the sons and daughters of mill workers and farmers and others and provide broad access uh, to higher education. Uh, the state and the federal government uh, support the institution, but mainly the main distinction is that the state does. And uh, students have a great opportunity to get a, a first-rate education, to go to a world-class uh, research university and pay a fraction of the cost uh, of their education. From a, from a personal, an individual level, uh, an education at the University of Nebraska is a, is a great economic investment. Uh, we know that uh, on average a person makes more than a million dollars more over their lifetime if they have a college education as opposed to a high school uh, degree. So personally, it's almost always a choice uh, that is, is worth making economically. Uh, as a state, uh, there is a huge public good uh, in higher education. And it's the reason that it, it's the reason that we, that as a state, we need to keep investing in it, that it's not solely an individual good. In addition to economics, civic engagement, volunteerism, they all go up, all the, all the, all the positive uh, uh, metrics go up uh, depending on the level of education you have. So the more education, the more civic involvement, more volunteerism, lower the divorce rates, lower the incarceration rates, lower the demand on social services. So if you think about what is it that you can do to make your community and your state a, a vibrant, uh, attractive place to live, it's directly uh, tied to, to education.